I spent a good portion of uh, the last year, a good, a good month and a half in Denmark. Is there any Danish people in? Shot in the dark, that one, really, to be honest. <laughs> Great people, the Danes, great people. D Danish women, very attractive and highly charged sexually. And Danish men, terrible at sex. <laughs> it's not their fault, it's an ancestral thing from being Vikings. They think four players rowing. <laughs> they, uh, we need some more food and sex. Let us go to England and get some. <laughs> so, what happened was, I'll tell you what happened. I did, some gigs. I did a gig in, in, in Copenhagen, a, like a quite a big posh gig. So I'm sitting in the dressing room listening to the first half of the show, and it's all in Danish. <laughs> There's 2,000 people in the audience who are obviously all Danish, and two guys on stage talking in Danish. <laughs> the whole show is in Danish. And I'm in the dressing room listening to it on the monitors, and all I can hear is... Binga banga bonga, bonga banga binga. <laughs> and backstage, they go, oh shit. So when I walked on, they put me on. It was a tape voice saying, What's that going about? UK, shooting for the booba groofer. <laughs> and I walked on stage and said, Hello, I am English. And I did the whole of my act very slowly and carefully so they would understand every word. And I added gesticulatory things so they would understand it even more. <laughs> so I was telling jokes like, I have two beautiful children and three hideous children. <laughs> Face paint and a welding kit, it was the wrong present. When it rains, my children run around the house saying, it is raining, it is raining. And I say, so what? And they say, so let us in. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and it went okay. It went okay. And I came off stage and the guy, one of the guys there was gay, was saying, he said, uh, Bobby, why, why are you speaking so slowly? And I said, so they will understand, oh, you speak in it, so they'll understand what I'm, understand what I'm saying. And he said, well, well, if they understand what you're saying, they'll laugh. If they don't understand what you're saying, they'll laugh louder. <laughs> I said, well, well, why would they do that? He said, because in Denmark, it's very important to be seen to be able to understand English. So if they don't understand you, they will laugh to show everybody else that they did. <laughs> I said, get out of here. He said, I, honestly. So I went out the next night. I said, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a giraffe. It's up my ass, but I don't know who Spyro Agnew is. <laughs> I was a god. <laughs> but that first gig, it was getting to it. The Danish language is quite remarkable. They have 29 letters in their alphabet. They have an A-E, which is connected together. They have an O with a line through it, which I still think is a mistake that someone managed to pass off brilliantly. <laughs> I write the side for Holbeck. Oh, not an O. I said, oh, that looks good. Is that a mistake? No, that is a letter. It is not O or O, it is O. <laughs> but I picked up a little bit of the you know, I still hay and cup of coffee. They cut my hair off, but you know. Uh, I picked up bits of that, and then the first day I'm there, and they say to me, we can't take you to the gig, get a taxi. Here's the name of the place you're going to. Just say this to the taxi driver, he'll take you there. And they wrote it down for me, and it was spelled R-H-O-V-E-R-N-D-N-E, -E, which you would think was pronounced something like Rue de Verne, or Rue de Verne, Rue de Verne, Rue de Verne. And I said, oh, how do you pronounce it? And they said, um, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I said, no, seriously, how do you pronounce it? They said, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I said, well, oh, yeah, oh. they said, that's it, that's it. <laughs> I can't get into a taxi and say, take me to oh, yeah, oh. You think, oh, I mean, They said, that's the name of the flat. Oh, so. so I get in the taxi, the driver says, where do you want to go? I said, right, I'd like to go to, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, please. <laughs> and he obviously said, what? I said, uh, It was like a bizarre episode of Scooby Doo at one point. Raggy, right, roll, roll, we roll. We were there for hours. I tried saying it backwards. Eventually, I gave him the piece of paper to look at. I should have done that in the first place. And he looked at it and he went, ah! 